Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on reflecting a shape in a vertical or horizontal line. Now you may be aware that reflection is just when you flip a shape over, but we have to say the line we're reflecting in. So I could, for example, give a line like this and then reflect that shape in that line of reflection like this, so it flips over. And it might be the line is drawn for you, but it might be that you're given the equation of the line. So here our line of reflection is x equals 2. Now the way we draw the line x equals 2 is to just pick points where the x value is 2. So for example, I could pick this coordinate here, and can you see the x value is 2 here, the y value is 3, but we just care that the x value is 2, because we need the x value to be 2. Uh, this point here, can you see the x value of the coordinate is also 2? This is 2, 5, the x value is 2. Or we could have 2, 0, the x value is 2. So if we just join these up with a line, that gives us all the points where the x value is 2, and it cuts the x-axis at 2. So that's a quick way of remembering that it's going to cut the x-axis at 2. And now we can reflect this shape in that reflection line here. So let's do it point by point. Let's choose this point first. All we need to do is we need to go towards, directly towards, the line of reflection like that, and we count the squares. So we can see we've gone one square, two squares, we're now at the line of reflection, and we do the same distance again in the same direction. So one square, two squares, and we've ended up here. And I'll put a little cross. What about this point here, this next corner? One square, two squares, we're now at the line of reflection, one square, two squares again, and we end up here. And then finally this point here, going directly towards the line of reflection, one, two, three, and the same distance again in the same direction, one, two, three, we end up here, and then we just join those points up. And there's our shape. 